Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to quickly make a video about um, creating topography or a site um, contour model um, from Google Earth. So it's really super easy. We're just going to use Rhino and SketchUp and it will take us a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So first things first, we want to open up SketchUp. I'm just using uh, SketchUp Pro. You can use this on SketchUp Make, the free version if you want. So um, it's really accessible to everybody. Um, you want to start off by going to File, Geolocation, and then go Add Location. And you want to just try and pick out the spot that you want to get the terrain for and get a contour model of. Um, so I'm just going to go here somewhere in Nepal because there's um, a bunch of hilly spots there. I'm going to select the region. I'm just going to import it. Now we've just imported our map of the site. And all we have to do is go to File, Geolocation, Show Terrain. And now, as you can see, that's pretty gnarly, but um, depends what site you've got. It might not be this big. However, from here, we can now import this into Rhino and we're just going to go uh, Export. Actually, sorry, we're just going to save this. Um, we can just go save this as a SketchUp 8 um, version, version 8 of SketchUp. And we're just going to go Site for Rhino. I'm going to save that. Now moving back into Rhino, we can um, open up a new file and we can file import. And we're just going to go find where we saved that. So all of these should, should be fine as default. However, you make sure you've got it on as a mesh and you want the edges and faces, everything as well. So we're just going to click OK and it's just going to place that model into our Rhino file. You can go ahead and delete this um, flat plane as well. So from here, what we can do is enter our top view and we're just going to scroll out and go find it. Um, and what we can do now is just create a drape over this. So with it unselected, we can just type in drape and we're just going to create a square as it says, drag a window over area to drape and just put that over there. Going back to our perspective view, you can see that's created a surface of um, the model and we can go ahead and delete the group that's underneath it and we've now got a NURB surface for that model. And if we go into a shaded view, you can see that it's just molded out that site completely. And whereas it's not perfect, um, this is actually really good considering that the other way you have to do it is by getting a contour map, uh, making sure it's the right scale and everything and then uh, scaling them up and doing uh, spending a whole lot of time just drawing every single line on the contour map. So um, considering that this just took less than five minutes, it's definitely a cool feature and it's worth knowing for your architecture projects. So if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe and comment. It really does help out and um, go check out some of my other videos if you're new around here as well. Thank you guys and take care.